He's got a new podcast that is available where all podcasts can be gotten called Literally with Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe here on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Rob? I'm literally here you with are, you on you, the show. You are, in fact, doing that. Did I, did I say uh, the title correctly? Because there is an exclamation point in the title, and I'm... I'm, I don't know if it's if it's silent or it, it, it is like the comma and murder no, she it wrote. Is. Like, I'm, you, very, you, I'm very you know? pro, pro exclamation points. Okay. Almost every sentence I say has an exclamation point at the end of it. Yes, right there. I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally with Rob Lowe. Why, uh, why the pod, Rob? Where did this uh, come from? You know what? I, I, here, here, I've always liked long-form interviews. You and I get to do them. Yep. Um, I, I enjoy being on them, and I have such a long history with interesting people that I thought there'd be some value in me talking to people that that, that I'm never that are, I'm going to be able to know things about them because of our shared history that others are never going to know. Like Magic Johnson is my uh, next guest Fantastic. next week. Right now, the podcast that's out is with Chris Pratt, who I've known since he was. You know, chubby Andy Dwyer on Parks and Rec, and then became ripped, shredded movie star man. So, <laughs> my perspective of, uh, on my relationship with him is very, very different than others. With, with Magic, you know, I can be like, dude, do you remember when Riley banished me from traveling with the team? <laughs> and he'll be like, Wait, hey, what? you know, what I mean? you're not going to get those kind of talks with with celebrities unless I'm doing the the talking. Okay, so now uh, the Riley would be Pat. I that assume. would be Slick Pat Riley. Okay, so unpack this story for me, Rob. I know I don't want to give away too much that's on literally with Rob Lowe, but um, he, ba- <laughs> he banned you from the, traveling with the team? Yeah, and, w- and what was so great about this is because I know my side of the story, uh-huh. but I don't know Magic's side of the story. <laughs> yeah. like, I didn't even know if he was aware of it. Or, or maybe he caused it. Maybe, you know, for all I knew, he was like, get that guy out of here. I just don't know. Uh-huh. So I asked him, and he started laughing, and he said, oh, absolutely, I remember it well. You know, Riley didn't want any distractions. You're right. In those days, you know, I was kind of teen idol time, so wherever I went was like a posse of of, of young fans, <laughs> and uh, but, but here's the part I didn't know. Yes. That, Ma- that Magic told me is, yes. um, yeah, no, they... They wouldn't even let our married players' wives come to the, the hotel, so they made you go stay at that hotel. I'm like, wait a minute. Me staying with the wives doesn't sound like a good plan either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So how did you get to tra- – how did you come about to travel with the Lakers to begin with, though, Rob? Well, at that point in my life, I was single. I was mm-hmm. in my early 20s and, you know, huge sports fan. Right. And I would – you know, do movies, and then in my time off, you know, I I had the time, and I loved the game so much. So, um, you know, I had season seats and all of that, but I, I only really went on the road for, for the playoffs. and But that was the best. That's when you wanted to go on the road. Well, I mean, yeah. Riley wants to tighten the rotation in the playoffs, Rob, I, I'm, and I'm sure you've you've seen Pat uh, since many times, I imagine. Oh, right? yeah. He's he's just, you know, there's nobody like him. He's, there isn't. He, I pointed out to Magic also on the podcast that the Lakers are the are are known for having a coach who never sat down. Because you know Pat never took a seat ever in any game he ever coached, ever, not once. <laughs> to going to a coach who never stood up. It's in Phil Jackson, Phil right? Jackson. <laughs> Because when when Phil would have to unfold himself to stand up, <laughs> take ten minutes. That, <laughs> you know, I mean, Phil Phil's kind of you know he's got a lot of moving parts when he just walks around <laughs> and stands right. up. You know, um, but say that's right. Riley never sat. Never, not huh. once. He had that great kind of Riley squat that I think David Caruso stole <laughs> in <CSI> Miami. <laughs> yeah. like, have you ever watched CSI Miami and David Please. Caruso comes into a crime scene? He's doing the Pat Riley squad. Rob, sure. I, uh, Rob, uh, for our Super Bowl this year, which was in Miami, um, I, uh, for our Super Bowl open, I played the David Caruso character with a red wig and all. Oh. I, I will send you, uh, I will send you the uh, photographs and even uh, one of the show opens that I did. Oh, 
um, where where I did at one point. We actually even got Rex Lynn to play to reprise his character. No way. As well. Oh yes, and um, part of the open was uh, you know with the whole you know music and everything was me getting down, squatting down mm -hmm. like David Caruso and standing over a first down marker to see if it was a first down with a football. <laughs> <laughs> and also using forceps to pick up a yellow flag uh, and 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 bag it uh, like it was a uh, like it was something from a crime scene. What was your what was your one liner though? Oh, just all of them. Um, I don't you know I don't remember anything specifically, um, but they all were done when delivering them. Putting the glasses on. That was yes. the Caruso move. It wasn't taking the glasses off and delivering the line. It was the glasses on. I think I, I hopefully they said, Ca uh, Captain, do you think it's a f first down? <laughs> and you do your squat, and he goes, and it's not the only thing that's going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then you play the music. But uh, me being uh, a 50 year old man, uh, I did need on occasion help getting up, uh, yes. to be very honest with you, you know, yes. uh, uh, because he really went down. I mean, that, the squat, he did get the squat. He stole the it from Riley. I'm, I'm just telling you, <laughs> he stole it from Pat Riley. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.